Hello, Assalamualaikum, guys, and welcome back to a new video at Cyberman Muslim. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to get the boot camp running on your Hackintosh. Many of you would have tried uh, to run boot camp on their Windows so they can directly boot into OS X and they can get the benefits of the built in software Apple provides with the boot camp so they can use their Apple keyboard, mouse, camera stuff, and most importantly, so they can open their HFS file partition on their Windows and many would have been successful and many would have been in trouble. So right now I can show you that my system is opening HFS files and it shows the bootcamp option here, which I can show you right here, bootcamp version six and hfs files even though these partitions are read only you can't write in it you can't even make a folder inside it but still you can at least access your uh, data which is on the hfs drives so i can show you that my system is basically a hackintosh it's n it is not a macintosh and this thing clears it up so the first thing you need to do is you need to download some softwares so there are three different softwares one is named SM BIOS Viewer. Second is BMI Edit Win Windows, or you can say Win, and GUI means Graphics User Interference. And the third one is Bootcamp 5.1. So this is a small file, but I downloaded the original Bootcamp Windows 10 drivers from the Apple's website, and it got all of these drivers. And if I open it right now, it will think my system is a uh, Apple iMac or MacBook Pro or something and it gives you direct options to install it or repair it because I have already installed it it is asking me if you want to repair it so I will say cancel and I will go back so let's start the procedure of installing the bootcamp and you have and there are three basic steps the first one is you have to extract these folders extract them all and the first step is linked with OS X and you have to restart your system back into the OS X uh, so you can open the SM BIOS viewer and so you can get the basic details about your uh, Hackintosh and the stuff so I will extract it so the first step is you have to Open the SM BIOS in Mac OS X and get all the details out of the Clover configurator and make that detail or copy that details into a text file so you can use them later on with Windows and get that bootcamp running. After extracting these three folders, here you can see SM BIOS viewer, DMIT. I will copy these or I will just copy the SM BIOS. I will copy this in BIOS and I will put it in somewhere where I can access that in OS X. And after copying that there, I will restart my computer and I will boot into the OS X. So we have booted into OS X and now we'll show you how to use that SM BIOS viewer to get all the details out of your Hackintosh and copy that details onto a text file so the first thing you have to do is you have to open that folder in which you have copied this SM BIOS viewer after extracting that you have to open the SM BIOS viewer and for the ease of the procedure you have to copy these files to the desktop once you have copied these files to the desktop you have to open the terminal and here you have to move to the desktop so you write in CD so for change directory and here you will write desktop. Once you have moved to the desktop, let me zoom in for you so it get clear. So once you have moved to the desktop, you have to write CD, or you have to write dot uh, forward slash, or you can just open the help.txt and you can copy this command which is already written in the same procedure. And that will make it more easier as well. So after clicking that, you have to press enter and this will make a dump file here. You can see a dump.bin has already been made. Now you have to extract that or open that d dump file and you'll write hey, this command. And ta -da. 
This will extract almost each of every each and every detail out of your Hackintosh and once it is out and visible to you you can just go up and from here starting from here uh, you can copy this BIOS information and you can go right down to the end and ta -da. end of the table right click copy and you can even paste this file this code right below this help.txt and ta -da. so after pasting this file you have to save it and the file is saved copy this file to a folder where windows from where you can easily access it in windows so i will directly copy this into the new one i think this drive is empty almost so i just copied here here and that's all you have to do in os x and now we will boot into the windows and i will let you know how to modify your motherboard bios to make it able to run the bootcamp software and be able to use that hfs read only system so let's boot into the windows so now we have booted into windows and the folder is still here and you have to open this and now this time you have to go to your drive where you save that files and here that help text is here and i will click that all right all right i will open this because this is a text file i will open it with a word pad on a notepad and you can see all of the details are here now what you have to do is you have to open that folder in which you downloaded the DMI added bin UI and you have to open it and here you have to double click it. After opening the software you have to click here in the BIOS information and you have to change these strings. So here you can see it's BIOS version and string and here it's written iMac4. This is because, because I have already changed all of the details from here and what you have to do is you have to change them one by one and in my case they are already changed sorry for that but i've already tried it and i always share the information after trying it and if it works so right now my bootcamp is properly working you can see here the bootcamp and so let's edit it one by one you have to check in your notepad that which information you need so starting with this BIOS vendor and here you can see we need we don't need BIOS vendor we need BIOS version and here is the BIOS version so basically you can't copy this you have to add it this here so you have to write all of this information one by one here single character by character you can't paste anything here because it's kind of paste restricted so let's fill this one as an example capital i m capital i m 142.88z.011 b00.1309 so that's how you enter the details and after entering it you, you also have to change this BIOS release date and you have to change it to the version which will be written right here so I've already copied it and after copying that you have to click this update and you have to click current type and this will ask you are you sure you want to update your data and you say yes and the DMA editor will update it so then you have to enter this and then you have to enter the BIOS baseboard module information then system enclosure and remember only change the ones which are in green which are highlighted green and you can check that in there are some green and in oem strings all of these are green but i couldn't i was not able to find anything related to this so i just left it as it was so you just don't need to edit the oem strings else you can add it and you also don't need to edit the system configuration options as well so except these two you have to edit all of the other informations and you have to update them by one by one after updating you have to close this and you can check the system details by using the windows command 
DX DIAG. Or you can use any software like CPU ID, CPU Z, or anything related. And now you can see here my system model is iMac 14.2. And my BIOS version is this one, and the system manufacturer is Apple INC. And after doing this, after uh, giving a restart to your CPU, after giving a restart to your system, you have to open the drivers you downloaded from the Apple website or this short link. And I will prefer you to download the latest bootcamp softwares. And then you have to click this setup, and this will definitely work then. So that's all you need to do for getting the HFS support on your Hackintosh Windows and to use the drivers given by Apple with their bootcamp. This software, the bootcamp, will allow you to use the Apple keyboard and mouse as you use them in Mac OS X and it will give a variety of software support as well. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.